the girl and I like D. Slip got the words you ever got a DWI on a bike and ha ha ha. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. This video may contain spoilers. A spoiler is something that happened in the episode that may ruin your first time viewing experience if you haven't seen the show yet. Aaliyah Nicole will not be held responsible for any aw oh, mans, dang it, or any other shock value reactions. Enjoy. Do I want Aaron or Luca? Does Luca even like me like that? And Aaron, sometimes I feel like he's playing me. I just... Aaron, Luca, Aaron, Luca, Aaron, Luca, Aaron, Luca, Aaron, Luca. Cash, what are you doing here? Watch out, world, I'm grown now. <laughs> Y'all, Lee Nicole here, and it goes to help you thrive during college. And this is Grownish Lessons for episode number 12. Yo, we got one week left. Again, another change in background, and I know that I'm like really washed out right now. Quick recap, six, six, oh, let's, let's go! Freshman formal is coming up, and while Jazz is embracing this new relationship, she's in. The rest of the crew is having a little bit of modern day relationship issues. Also, after a game of Never Have I Ever, Anna questions her tame experience. So the main thing that we're gonna take away from this episode, there's two things. Modern day relationships in college when it comes to dating while you're in school in this day and age. And being inexperienced in life because this is something a lot of freshmen deal with when it comes to like their experience level. They get into college and they haven't done this yet. And sometimes they feel pressured or you know, people are like wondering why haven't you, girl, you haven't lived. All right, now when it comes to modern day relationships, dating, what does this generation know about dating? They say that people do not date nowadays. People, they are they are afraid of commitment. You know, you've heard a lot of people, you know, like, oh, no new friends. Oh, chase this money, not this love or these hoes, blah, blah, blah. So it really just causes this thing where it's like, well, well, why aren't people dating? And what what's so wrong with it? And how do you even date nowadays? What's defined as a date, honestly? The thing is how people meet, how people connect with technology and how we have the technology that we have now, such as social media, Tinder, and the way that you, you know, are meeting people, it's completely different than how your parents did or how your grandparents did. So the way people are meeting is different. The, what people define as a date has changed it's not just oh a dinner and a movie some people would say you know oh we netflix and chill that's a date you know they say no a date is when you dress up like this and not when you dress up like this and this person has to pay and all this other stuff so how society defines what dating is and how people are meeting whether people are meeting online or they're meeting at lounges or if they're meeting where that will forever change not saying that you can't stick with traditions or norm or do it completely differently but one thing that will never change because we are human beings okay meaningful clearly defined relationships will always be your responsibility you define what that is and what that means to you so when you're in school that's how people usually meet but sometimes it's not always you know oh i met this cute person that was in class it's probably like i follow them on social i stalk their social media and they're in my class but they just don't know who i am yet and usually a date or some type of start with the communication with you two could come from that back in the day no i i i, I think people would like find their number in like the phone book or something i don't really know <laughs> now moving on to being inexperienced this is very common when you first get into college. You will meet people who have done things that you have probably never even thought of, okay? Or you could be the one that has more experience in certain areas. In Anna's case, she's the one that hasn't done a lot and her friends, you know, were pressing her about, they were like, you never smoked weed, you never went skinny dipping, you never got a DWI on a bike. Oh yeah, you never kissed a girl. How you could forget that one? That was like the main thing that they focused on because then Anna was like, okay, well, I want to kiss the girl, so let me kiss Nomi, you know, to cross off my freshman bucket list. <laughs> now, if you are just like Anna, you don't drink, you've never kissed a girl, or if you just never had sex before, or you've, or maybe you've never been to a party, anything like that, don't necessarily feel bad. I would say, if you're interested in doing any of those things, do it, but also don't feel like you have to do it that's the main thing don't feel like you have to do it and don't do it because you feel like you have to do it and you want to be accepted or you want to you know finish some bucket list that you don't even really truly care about doing 
yeah i hope those couple of tips help let me know in the comment section below who do you want for zoe aaron luca cash is irrelevant oh also check out the video that i've done um dating sex and relationships in college i'll put in the icard thank you for watching this video sorry about being washed out in the car different background whatever but that's i still gotta ground no matter what still gotta get this video these videos out so i appreciate you for watching please give it a huge thumbs up all right subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit that notification ding bell